professional sport host Sue Barker has been removed from the show alongside team captains Matt Dawson and Phil Tufnell, who will film their last episodes later this year. Sue is 64 years old and has been hosting the show for 24 years. And she said, I love the show so much. They would have to remove me. It would have been tough for me to walk away. So, is the BBC showing ageism for getting rid of her? Joining us now is broadcaster Jenny Bond, who says she believes she was also pushed out of her television presenting job because of her age. And writer and presenter Gemma Forte, who says, most TV contracts are short. The decision was nothing to do with Sue's 64 years. Uh, very good morning to both of you. Jenny Bond, uh, I, I wrote about this and said that the situation that happened with Arlene Phillips getting taken off Strictly Come Dancing in favour of a, a younger presenter wouldn't happen again now. It has happened again. But is this evidence of BBC ageism, possibly specifically to do with a woman, or is this just a shake-up of the programme? Well, I've no doubt that women do suffer more in this area than, than men. There's, there's a big gender debate to be had here. Um, I suspect that because the other two are also have been axed, this isn't just about age. But, you know, Sue will be hurting this morning. You, you can't do anything about your age. And uh, there is a pressure on television always, but for women particularly, to look younger, you know, keep those wrinkles at bay, dye our hair. I wish I had the courage to go grey and be on television. And um, as you were saying, I, I felt that, well, look, that I was pushed out, or I was certainly asked to leave uh, news presenting, being the face, if you like, of the news, which I did for a while, uh, for a few years, actually. I remember getting the call then, sitting in my car and being told that actually we're getting a, a new stable of faces in. Mm -hmm. And one or two of us were, were pushed out. Strangely, we were both just in our 50s, just hitting 50. Um, and the people coming in were 15 years younger. So I think that was ageist. Having said that, I have to say the BBC then employed me on Catch in the Attic and Rip Off Britain, where it was decided that would be three older women, women, Gloria Hunniford, Angela Rippon and myself. Um, and those two and myself, actually, now I'm 70, they're in their 70s and Gloria's 80. We are we're still working in television. Could it be a so wider issue, a... Jenny? Um, a long you know... way that continue, by the way. Well, we've seen, we've seen the entire panel of Question of Sport being told they're out. We also saw, a couple of weeks ago, the Soccer Saturday on Sky, the live football uh, lineup. Three guys got wiped from that as well. Um, and the common theme here, I think, is this, is that you've got sport now is unbelievably diverse and multicultural, particularly in this country, with so many in football, for example, most of the best players are black. And yet there you had a football show on a Saturday with all four presenters being white, middle-aged guys. Same with Question of Sport, where they've had three hosts and they've had 13 permanent team captains, all of whom were white and only one of whom was female. Could it be, Jenny, more of a diversity push where they're saying, look, if we're going to be doing sport, okay. we've got to have a lineup which reflects the multicultural and diverse nature of sport today? I think you're absolutely right, and I think it's an extremely good thing. I, you know, I'm in favour of, if you like, positive discrimination. I know Lorraine was saying, and she's right, that you should just be good enough for the job. But there are occasions when certain sectors of society, I mean, I think, I think it used to be women, it is now people of ethnic origin, different ethnic origins and um, different abilities, who do need to be seen on television. We all know television needs to be a reflection of society, yes. and at the moment it isn't. But it and also it, needs to be a reflection of uh, viewers over a certain age who are women, Gemma. I mean, you know, uh, uh, viewers don't fall off a cliff when they turn 50. So no. uh, why should the faces on television? But I feel like um, the, in the Strictly um, incident, that really did seem like ageism. However, with the question of sport, as Jenny's already said, if Phil Tufnell and Matt Dawson were still staying, then perhaps you'd think this was aimed at Sue Barker, but it isn't. It's an overhaul of the whole show. I suspect they need to freshen up the format and just start again. And she's had such an amazing run. And actually, you know what? In this business, it is harsh. It's brutal. If your kids come to you and say, I want to be a presenter these days, you'd say, oh, please don't do something else. There are hardly any jobs going. And behind every presenter that's got a job, there will be another thousand people who would like it, which keeps people on their toes. And Sue Barker, I'm sure, hopefully will still go on to do Wimbledon. 
I would find it bizarre if she didn't do that because Wimbledon never changes. She's qualified, she's expert, and she's an excellent presenter. But if the ratings for Question of Sport are going down, then they need to address that. And we've all become armchair producers, armchair politicians. But I would like to see what they come up with. And we shouldn't judge until they've got the new raft of people. And perhaps the same people who were freaking out back in 1997 that a woman had been given the job might now be the same people who are getting their knickers in, in a twist in case, you know, one of the new presenters might be black, for instance. Mm. Can and I, I, can thought I say Matthew I take Wright... exception? I take exception to your phrase, knickers in a twist. I think it's uh, demeaning to women to use that <laughs> phrase. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. Obviously, I thought it was funny, but you're not allowed to be uh, laughing at things like that anymore. Jenny, I mean, it's, it's a bottom line. Everyone has their day in telly in a particular job, but as as you said, there are so many more opportunities now on television. There used to be three channels when I was a kid. Now there are 300. Um, there's plenty of opportunities if you're prepared to just say, you know what, that particular door shut. I've had many doors open and shut for me in television and I just think you crack on, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, your day will probably come with the programme you're on now. You know, that, that happens. <laughs> yeah. I remember when... Um, I don't want it to. Um, <laughs> I, I remember when I... I first wanted to be a presenter. Um, one of my bosses said, well, OK, we'll, we'll, we'll put you on the news. But remember this, being a presenter is the most insecure job in television. Um, you're much better being a correspondent. And I think I could still be royal correspondent for the BBC now. I mean, no, I, totally I chose to give that job up. I, totally, I actually think you could and you should. Mm. So I think you're a living embodiment. However, I've also seen you do lots of other things and thought actually it opened up many new doors for you which perhaps you wouldn't have done. So every cloud is a silver lining. I think you just in this game, it's a tough old game, you've just got to keep grinding and treat every potential defeat and humiliation mm. as actually a glorious step forward into a brave new world. And I'll and, certainly be and using that line. there's a motivational speech I'll be using that line Morgan. when they kick me out of here and drag me kicking and screaming <laughs> into, the, into the street. Uh, thank you so much Jenny to and Gemma, yes. thank you. Interesting debate. Thank you. Uh, in a statement, the BBC said, we would like to thank... Shall I put my BBC voice on? Yes. We would like to thank Sue for her enormous contribution as the show's longest reigning host over the last 24 years and Matt and Phil for their excellent team captaincy. Together, they have ensured a question of sport remains a firm favourite with the BBC One audience. Yep. Well, we I think they've done a great job. Well done to all of them. They've all had a good run. And let's not get too bogged down in... We should never change anything. Everything changes. Everything changes.